Hello everyone, long time no see. I hope everybody is safe and sound at home. Well, since we are starting after a very long time, in this video we will be solving a fairly easy problem. So without any trash talk, let's read what the problem statement is. Well, it is called arranging coins. What we need to do is uh, basically we have n number of coins and we want to fill or not fill like arrange them in a staircase shape fashion that is one coin in first row two coins in second row third coins in third row and so on what we need to do we need to find out the maximum number of rows maximum number of completely filled rows we can have using n number of coins okay so the brute force approach would be to keep on adding one plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on till the point the sum becomes greater than n and at the point at which the sum becomes greater than equal to n we are sure that we can only have uh, these number of rows suppose uh, the previous number was uh, x before the sum got greater than or equal to n so the answer would be x we can only have x number of completely failed rows but we are not here to solve it in a linear time we would be solving it using binary search so yeah let's see how binary search would be applying in this case you know there is a very sweet application of binary search suppose we uh, have a, a search space uh, from range L to R that is inclusive and we are sure that our answer would only lie within this range okay let me do it on the sketchboard yeah so suppose this is the total range and we are sure that our answer will only lie within this range what we can do we will uh, set random values for some we can uh, set random values for answer and check if that value satisfies our condition that condition depends on problem statement it can change depending on the problem oh, and uh, here in this case like uh, in our problem arranging coins suppose we picked random value answer that lies somewhere here and using this uh, using n number of coins we are able to fill up answer number of completely answer number of rows and that too completely then we are sure that if we can fill these number of uh, this number of rows uh, these number of comp if we can have these number of completely filled rows then obviously we can also have uh, completely filled rows the, which are lesser than this value yep so suppose we can fill five five rows using some uh, using some n number of coins then we are sure that we can obviously fill four four rows okay so we do not need to search on the left side of this value now our search space uh, reduces to this only this side now we will uh, change our endpoints that is we will increment our l uh, which is here we will increment our l value and set it here and r to here then our new search space will be this then we will try to maximize the value of this answer as here in problem here in our problem we need to find out the maximum number of completely filled rows and we will keep on doing it and suppose for some particular value x our answer we are not able to fill up x number of rows using n coins then we are sure obviously if we cannot fill x number of rows we cannot fill more than x number of rows so we what we would in the in that case what we would be doing is we would be reducing our search space and uh, decrementing r okay then in that case yeah then we will decrement r and our search space will reduce this the orange the orange shaded region i hope you got the point and 
let's uh, do it let's do the code part and I will explain my solution alongside okay uh, the minimum value the minimum number of rows we can fill using n coins is zero let's say if n is equal to zero then we cannot fill any rows okay and uh, if the maximum number of rows we can fill let's say it is n obviously it won't be n as we would be having more than one coin in each rows except the first one so let's say hypothetically the maximum value of our answer can be n so let's uh, initialize r to n and we would be using a mid variable which we would be changing or setting during our binary search and let's say we have an answer answer is the value which uh, tells us the maximum number of rows we can have the maximum number of completely filled rows and initially let's set it to zero we will try to maximize this value and here we are just uh, starting our binary search procedure till l is less than or equal to r in this we will be finding out the mid and this l plus r divided by 2 i use a shift operation there and here i would be checking if um mid and i will soon explain the ok function here okay let's do the ok function i'll i have the declared helper function which is called ok it takes two arguments the first one is uh, let's say mid itself and the second one is the number of coins we are having now there's a property if we sum up the first n natural numbers and uh, let's see then the sum is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 if I'm not wrong so for 1 2 3 it would be 3 into 4 yeah yeah I'm right okay so if or uh, here if you see here if we are able to fill up 3 3 rows then we need we need a uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 number of coins that is the sum of first n natural numbers the first of 3 natural numbers so we we will use this formula and return mid into mid plus 1 divide by 2 if it is less than or equal to n that means we can have a uh, returns true if we can have mid number of completely filled rows okay so this will only run true if we are able to have mid number of completely filled rows okay then we are sure that we do we obviously can have lesser number of rows which are completely filled but we need to go further we need to check if there if we can have more number of completely filled rows so here we will just uh, update our max if max is less than uh, to mid because this value is satisfied we can fill this number of rows and what we do we will try to uh, reduce of su search space we will increment our l to mid plus one and now we only care about the part which is on the right side of mid we do not care about the part which is on the left side of mid else and if it it did not uh, satisfy the condition it means we cannot have cannot have mid number of completely filled rows now we need to reduce the reduce our search space to the left side like we need to change uh, now we only care about the part which is on the left side of mid not on the right side of the mid so it means we can have completely number of completely filled rows can be would be less than mid so we will just decrement r to mid minus 1 so this will keep on going till l is less than or equal to r and at the r at the end we are sure that we would be having a our answer and it means we can have this number of completely filled rows okay let's see if it is working there is one compile error
expected. I wonder where it expects. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I do not need this here. Yep. Let's try submitting it. Yeah, I've done it before. Yep, it worked. So the time complexity of this solution would be log n. So we were able to do it in log n time rather than the linear time. I hope I was able to explain something about the binary search approach. We will try to come up with few more similar problems to explain the main logic behind this binary search method. So yeah, we, since we started after a long time, we I tried solving an easy problem first and in the upcoming videos we'll try to solve a bit harder problems. So it was if you have stayed till stayed till this point so thank you so much and if you like our videos do subscribe man chill until then sayonara